虽然只有三年的历史，但是今年的 Science Expo 还是请到了有当代达芬奇之誉的多伦多大学终身教授 Steve Mann 前来参加。作为穿戴型计算机之父 ，Steve Mann 教授的演讲激起了参赛者们极大的兴趣与共鸣。参赛者之一的陈俊如同学带着自己花园浇水机器人项目来和大家切磋。我的这个项目是啊，浇水机器人，所以一个人可以用啊，用这个机器人的这个控制器去告诉机器人它要的一个形状，然后用这种形状，这机器人就可以把它计算出来哪哪是面积，用这机器人就可以把它整个给啊浇水。这个我觉得这个技术是很有用，因为。嗯，所有的人去教他们的院的时候，可以就教像花或者就是树，就是专门去教这些地方。这次印度裔同学 Natcha 凭借细胞核程序重编演示模型而夺得了一项大奖。So this project uses the basic engineering principle of hydraulics. How it works is you push down on the syringe, and the pressure that is created by the water creates a vertical movement of the nucleus. And if I pull it back in, the nucleus retracts. And I use this to highlight the importance of nucleus and DNA in my project. You could use them in medical treatments. It could also be a potential treatment for cancer and diabetes. So I found stem cells to be very interesting. And also, I use stem cells as an analogy to represent me as an individual. I'm very interested in the field of STEM, and there's a variety of opportunities in front of me. Just because a person's interests are broad doesn't necessarily mean they have to be shallow. The breadth and depth simultaneously is sort of this new renaissance, you know, kind of a renaissance of the renaissance. You know, it's a rebirth of this idea of of design, art, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. D A S T E M. Not just the STEM. Steve 教授说，他的幼儿园老师就告诉他，乐器可以分为弦乐、打击乐和管乐三大类。他呢就决心要挑战乐器构成要素只有固体和气体这一现实。Ontology or taxonomy of solid, solid, gas sort of bothered me. I felt, well, I, I want to invent a new instrument that makes sound from vibrations in liquid. In order to kind of challenge or bust that falsehood, I've attended many international children's organizations, such as science, math, and math competitions. In the participants, we see many Chinese people. This is not strange. But in the organizations, there is a first Chinese voice. But this time, at the Science Center, I saw many Chinese Science Expo participants. Chinese, Tina and Sunny are the two main participants. 负责市场的桑尼说：“寻找到五千元赞助的过程虽然艰难，但也是个极好的学习经验。而不做不知道，有效的内部沟通其实也是一个大的挑战。” Data executives 啊，不是华人的，他们肯定不会懂啊，为什么我不能 reply？ 所以我得，我得告诉他们啊，今天是在中国是个节日，我因为这个不能回回答你的 email。他们有 The Wally 有。啊、um, ，发信的时候 ，eat 我们也不能有有困难啊、uh, ，meeting。而负责在安省众多的中学里，美校安排一名 Science Expo 大使的工作，也让 Tina 同学感慨良多。虽然呃说安大略的华人很多，但我觉得华人可能因为家长的原因，他们特别注重学业，而不是一些课外的活动，所以可能他们有些家长觉得这个呃比赛可能花太多时间，就是浪费时间，因为学校的分数更重要，所以他们可能没有那么积极的参加，反而一些其他人可能觉得课外活动更重要，所以他们啊、呃、花了这个时间去做了这些不同的项目。现任 Science Expo 主席的陈一贝同学说：“作为五名创会元老之一。”他曾经是加拿大全国科技展的参赛者，而他的组员们希望在安省更好地推动科技课外活动，成为了创会的动力。Some of us are graduating already, and we wanted to give back to our community because we had the opportunity to go to places like Tunisia and Winnipeg for science fairs, and we wanted to um, tell more people about science fairs and the opportunities that are not normally uh, available. Through high school, so we came up. We were sitting around at a table, I remember, and we're eating pizza. And then suddenly, we came up with the name Science Expo, and that was when it started. Science, 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 science,